So today, it's not much, well, it's kind of a reaction, but it's something that a lot of men and a lot of women need to listen to and hear. This dude, he is speaking nothing but facts. Um, I've already watched this video just to see what it's about. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just putting this out there because this is something a lot of women need to understand because they're going through of why do guys do this why do you guys do that and this is something that actually a lot of men need to hear because a lot of you guys are simps a lot of you guys are lame um and you're gonna see why i say that i'm gonna get we're gonna get right into this well i think i bring feminine inspiration to the table like kelly rogan say i'm gonna be your motivation when you come home i'm gonna be in lingerie I'm going to keep it nice and fresh and waxed for you. I'm going to cook your food. Oh, you just got to bring home the bacon. That's oh, it. Shit. I don't ask for a lot. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. See, I got CEO. Yeah. I got you, right? <laughs> See, to a point that all sounds good, right? To all, to most men, this is, and this is funny because this is what a lot of women think that uh, guys want, men want, and... You know, it's, it, it sounds good. It sounds good till you hear what he, the other, the high value man has to say. God damn. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's interested. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's interested, yeah, of course. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's crazy. It ain't so, regular. That's what men want, though. I want to know, right? Who want that? So, Chris? Mr. Organic oh, okay. is a high value guy, right? He said, who want that? Who want that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's, we're gonna get right into right. it. I want to know, I know if we, from your brother. What do you look for in a woman? So you heard all these answers, right? What do you look for? I mean, yeah, like, of course, most of them is gonna stand on they pretty, they gonna fuck you and all that. Come home, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, man. Like, mm -hmm. we get that dime a dozen. Like, a nigga got bread, nigga. I'm six, six, two, thirty. I'm smooth. I even without the money, I had every woman I ever wanted. So. Like, just because you're going to be at my home when I come there cooking, I don't need that shit. You know what yes, I'm saying? I never needed it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I need a girl that's going to understand what I go through who's going to keep a motherfucker on top of his toes that's going to push him and motivate him. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? That's also going to come with some ideas. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Be, give me creative criticism on my grind. You know what I mean? Also, add add to the t to the table. You know what I mean? Not just trying to grab some food every time it's, it's filled up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You got to bring something to this table. Like, fucking pussy is over with after a certain time. Like we could, I could fuck any bitch I ever wanted in my life. I always have. That's not appealing to me no more. You know what I mean? Once you get money and once you was already having that, you got to bring more. Your energy got to be right. Your mind got to be right. That body don't mean nothing after a while. You know what I'm saying? A nigga will fuck anything, man. <laughs> so, like, you could be the bad. baddest bitch in the world. That's yeah. fine. Nigga gonna have you and I'm going to fuck a bitch, motherfucker, a two and a three. A nigga will do that. Yeah. Happens yes. all the time. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z had Beyonce. He still for some other pussy. How can you beat that? Cause I, he would just want some new pussy on his car. So that ain't nothing, man. It's your energy. It's your mind. What you bringing to help me grow? That was gonna help us grow. That what counts. Yeah, preach, brother. That last part. What are you bringing to the table to help us grow? And you know what? I I 100% agree on if. You know, you can't understand what your man is going through. Let me move this out the way. If you can't, boy, let me tell you. If you can't help your man understand what you're going through, then why, why you got? Why would you guys even last in the first place? You know what I'm saying? If you're not helping each other grow, why would you guys even last? Because you guys got stuff in common? Nah, when you guys go through the hard stuff, you guys need to help each other grow right you guys are supposed to be there for each other it's not just like all this other stuff this all this fake stuff that you see on social media and that's the thing a lot of these average guys they they i'm not gonna say that's why they cheat but if you're not you know helping each other grow then all it is is a friendship to be honest Yeah. But Absolutely. a bad bitch brings inspiration nah, that you not will to no, not, not to get. no real nigga that already yeah. had that. If you got a fat, lame, rich nigga that need all that, I just want a bad bitch. That nigga, he's a square. He's square, a bro. Yeah. But a nigga that been sufficient his whole life and got every girl he wanted, what is a bad bitch doing for me? That's nothing. We always had that. What you bringing more than just being a bitch? It's a, oh, it's a million bad bitches walking this earth. 
That's the cheapest and most easiest thing to get for a nigga got some money is a bitch and some pussy. Bam. You go to like I said, you go to Brazil right now. It's gonna be a ten thousand bad bitch you've seen in your life. You get them bitches one dollar and a coffee, and that bitch gonna lick your feet, man. That ain't work. That's worthless to a real nigga, man. Right. You gotta be a fat, slow brain, regular ass nigga that finally got some money to be imposed. And I got oh, I got a bad bitch. Like, come on, man. Like that's a different type of breed of human that get they they rock soft to that. You know what I'm saying? And I get uh -huh. it. Y'all get your money now. Go f get all them niggas. <laughs> but a nigga like me, that shit is like it's nothing. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? We got we, our energies got to be connected. You know what I'm saying? We got we got to grow together. That's the most important. So thing. y'all take a growing to get, but dude, this dude he a lot of y'all need to hear this for real. And I'm just spilling change everywhere because I'm just like this is this because this is a big big subject of you know women saying that they're just tired of this and that and you know good guys they're falling and getting tired too y'all ain't the only ones everything's not one-sided and that's one thing that's a lot of y'all females act like too is that everything's one-sided is that y'all need to take accountability for the men that you guys pick first of all what you guys don't do at all so this is something, you know, it can help both sides. You you, you see a, a guy falling and getting money, and he want a bad bitch. He's, that means he's a regular square that just got his money right. The basic bitch that is somebody that you want to talk to over a bad bitch that will inspire you. So you consider yourself a bad bitch? No, yeah, I do, actually. So you above basic. Well, you don't want work. You don't have no attributes <laughs> to the table here. Like, what I are do we talking have about? attributes. I'm like a, what? I'm a, I'm a, I inspire my men. How? You don't got no job. You got what's your education? Listen, what's, when, what's your master's but you degree have in? to no, but you have to realize that when men make it to a certain level, right. they're not checking for a woman's education. They're not. When you're ch when you're making millions of dollars, you don't care about a woman's education. Yes, you do. Talk to plenty of rich men. I do. I've I'm I've, a rich I, man. I got an estate in Malibu. Okay, an two estate? acres. Yes. Oh, I would acres. like to see the paperwork. Okay, we can show you paperwork. <laughs> Go ahead and show, show me the title. To, we gotta show a paperwork to somebody that got no paper. That would make no sense. Show me, <laughs> show me, pull no up that deed. Can he pull, pull up, up the deed? deed? Yeah. Can you pull you up your car? You don't even know what a deed is. You don't even know what a deed is because what deed you got? What deed you got? D to these. You, come on, man. You, 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 got, you, got, you got a little residue underneath your nose, man, baby. He's so, certified. He's certified. You know he's certified. But, but I get but, what you're saying. I get, I get what you're saying. Like, she yeah. fucking with loser, fat old niggas got money. I get nah, it. Nah, negative. But when you're, when, seriously, There's when no you way reach you a certain level. you got nobody efficient around you. When you reach a certain level, you don't care if that girl works as a bottle girl. You don't care if this it girl has matter. a job. We like, didn't you say don't that. Care. We got to have somebody that's got some smarts, though. We can tell you ain't got no smarts. Like, we need somebody with some brain. It ain't about just want to suck my dick all the time. The energy needs Damn. to be matched. We need, yeah. What are you saying? Yeah, it's, it's, it's but, bigger than but just. But you're saying because she doesn't have a job or work, it don't she matter. can't match we, we, your energy? It don't matter. I'm talking about you personally on the but educational But you don't know terms. me personally. I can tell you, you ain't got no brain. Honey, I worked in corporate finance. You what are you did? talking about? So yes, why are you not baby? employed now? Because I don't want to be. So you want to be a slave to a man with some money? I want to, no, honey. I want to be an inspiration with how? someone with some money. What, how are you going to inspire him? Please explain that. Baby, I just told you. Obviously, you weren't listening. I'm listening quite fine. You see, you coming to lingerie, but no, no, you wasn't you listening ain't gonna, though. Ain't like, gonna do nothing I, for you wasn't nigga. listening. Okay, I got you. I want to listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. She wants to inspire people with money, men with money. And he's like, he's asking how, how. She going around in circles, bro. So she got to, she she has an education, but she gave she gives that up to be a gold digger and an inspir, inspiration right to men with money. Man, I throw these pennies at her. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think. I think this is something a lot of people need to hear because. She's delusional. He's talking facts. She's delusional.